Accurate Forecast. Well, here is a look at our regional radar tonight. We are keeping our eye on the tropics. As you see now, Hurricane Francine making big impacts. It is cycling near Brownsville, has not made landfall yet, just kind of hanging out in the Gulf right now, intensifying for sure. The Gulf is very warm, so we could continue to see this storm kind of hang on to that Category 1 spirit as it closer to New Orleans. We'll get to that in a second. Here in the Mid-South, we are dry. Cloud cover is increasing tonight. Tomorrow will be another warm day. It will be cloudy, a mostly cloudy day, but we should be dry throughout the majority of the day. Highs will be near 88 degrees in Memphis, 90 in Dyersburg, around 89 down in Clarksdale. Throughout the day, that cloud cover will continue to increase all day long. In fact, 4 p.m., 88 degrees, but still very, very cloudy. Now, we are declaring it a weather impact day. Which day specifically? Thursday and half of your day on Friday, the first half to be specific. Let's get right on into the details of now Hurricane Francine. Still right now hanging out into the Gulf. It's moving around 10 miles an hour northeast, so still hanging to that same track. Right now it has winds of around 75 miles an hour. The storm does have a lot of rainfall involved with it. So places in South Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama already seeing some impacts there from this storm. As we continue to watch this storm, as we get closer to New Orleans, it could have a very good chance of making landfall as a Category 1 hurricane as early as tomorrow. Now, by the time it gets here to the Mid-South, it obviously won't be a hurricane any longer or even a tropical depression. It will be a low pressure system. However, we are still anticipating it to have very heavy rainfall and very high winds involved as well. So that's why we went ahead and we declared it weather impact. Day. The high wind threat is definitely very concerning because we could be seeing some power outages. Heavy rainfall because it's been so dry outside. That means that when we get a lot of rain in a short amount of time, it's really going to struggle to absorb in that ground and that could be causing some flooding issues. Latest model runs on rainfall totals within the next seven days around four to six inches here in Memphis and maybe two to four around other portions of the Mid-South. Now, as we time out that rainfall for you, Thursday morning we'll We'll start to see that rain here in the metro Memphis area. And then throughout the day Thursday, just heavy rainfall, some thunderstorms as well, high winds involved. Unfortunately, we can't rule out the possibility of a tornado. It's something we're keeping our eye on, and it looks like that rain is still going to be continuing even Friday evening. Wind gusts could be greater than 40 miles an hour, so make sure that you are prepared. Charge your phones throughout the day on Thursday. Here's like that seven-day forecast for you. 88 degrees for your Wednesday. Weather impact days for your Thursday and the first have a Friday and then we dry out and cool off for the rest of the seven day forecast, Kevin, but we're keeping our eye on Thursday and Friday specifically. Yeah, now the question everyone's going to want to know is, is this going to impact our weekend plans? A little bit. Now okay. I know that the Southern Heritage Classic is mm -hmm. here and the Cooper Young Festival as well. We could see some rainfall on Saturday, but we're not looking at any huge impacts and okay. definitely not strong to severe thunderstorms that we could be seeing throughout the day on Thursday. Okay, silver lining, not too bad. Glad exactly. to see that. <laughs>